Why was the Emperor absolutely terrified of Luke in Return of the Jedi? Greetings, and welcome back to the Archives. As we can all remember the one scene in The Empire Strikes Back when Palpatine strictly warns Vader that the son of Anakin Skywalker must never become a Jedi. Ever since he arrived on the scene, the Emperor has always taken Luke very seriously. Unlike most Jedi, which Palpatine was certain he could simply dispose of easily, Luke made his mark by first destroying the Death Star and then revealing himself to be Vader's lost child. Both of these gave Sidious a pause for concern, so much so that he sent many assassins, including his own Emperor's hand, after Luke Skywalker, and while Vader was still searching for him. But despite all of this, Luke would indeed become a Jedi, and Palpatine was certain that like his father, Luke would be fascinated with the dark side, and therefore could be easily turned. However, that didn't mean that he still didn't fear Luke a great deal. This is told to us flat out in the Return of the Jedi novelization, and not only was Palpatine scared of Luke, but Vader immensely enjoyed just how scared he was. So join us today as we open a holocron and discover why Vader was proud that Luke had inspired so much fear in his master. This passage comes to us in the moment that Vader tells Palpatine that he sensed his son was with the rebels that had infiltrated Endor. This caused great concern for Palpatine, as he himself did not sense Luke's presence. But of course, it was the father-son bond, that, that gave them two a deep connection with one another. As the novel reads this, as Palpatine is still quite concerned that he is unable to sense Luke. My son is with them. The Emperor's brow furrowed less than a millimeter. His voice remained cool, unruffled, slightly curious. Are you sure? I felt it, my master. It was almost a taunt. He knew the Emperor was frightened of the young Skywalker, afraid of his power. Only together could the Emperor and Vader hope to pull the Jedi Knight over to the dark side. He said again, emphasizing his own singularity, I felt him. This is the first time that we are told of Palpatine's fear of Luke. It's noted that he was afraid of Luke's power, which makes sense considering all that he has accomplished so far without training. Although he was a bit unpolished in certain areas, such as the brutal way in which he dueled, Luke had still managed to do far more while he was untrained than many seasoned Jedi Knights of the Clone Wars ever did. The natural Skywalker talent flowed through his veins just as easily as his own blood did, and Palpatine knew this. Back in the day, he had been keeping an eye on Anakin for well over 10 years, attempting to draw him to the dark side. They were on the same team. He had watched how Anakin finessed, broke, and powered through some of the toughest adversity that the Jedi had ever faced. Anakin was supremely powerful and Palpatine was in full control of Anakin's path since he had been directing it from the very beginning. But this time, this was a real war. Palpatine wasn't pulling the strings of the Empire and the Rebellion, and now the full force of a Skywalker was again at his throat in Luke, someone that Palpatine had not had influence on during his lifetime. And in fact, Luke wasn't even supposed to be alive. Palpatine was sure that Padme had died because of Anakin's actions, and the fact that she lived long enough to not only prove him a liar to Vader, but gave birth to a powerful child was outside of his control, and something that drove him mad. Vader, who by now was aware of Palpatine's treachery, having learned Luke's name from Boba, had taken a journey retracing the steps of Luke to see exactly where he came from. His anger was already seething for Sidious's lies, and he had been in bondage for far too long to let this Sith Master reign as Emperor forever. And Palpatine knew all of this. He knew that Vader's ultimate plan was to overthrow him. However, he wasn't going to be able to do that alone. Sidious had ensured that Vader had built his armor to be specifically weak to Force Lightning, and that is why Vader was eager for Palpatine to fear his son. This was the time that he could finally overthrow him. Looking into Vader's thoughts in this moment, Luke was standing in front of the window in the Emperor's throne room, and here is what the book says further about the Emperor's fear for Luke. Vader watched Luke. His body was powerful, stronger than he'd ever imagined, and still pliable, not loose yet, either to the sickening that had to beg for everything that it received, or to the Emperor who feared Luke with great reason. There was yet time to take Luke for his own, to retake him, to join with him in dark majesty, to rule the galaxy together. It would only take patience and a little wizardry to show Luke the exquisite satisfactions of the dark way and to pry him from the Emperor's terrified clutches. Vader knew Luke had seen it too, the Emperor's true fear. 
He was a clever boy. Vader smiled grimly to himself. He was his father's son. Vader looks on with nothing but pride as Luke terrifies the Dark Lord. But now the question remains, why was Palpatine so afraid of Luke? The answer is one which is relatively simple, but one that does have layers. It is about Luke's power, something that the Emperor wanted to exploit, but something that he was still quite wary of. Like we said, Palpatine had twisted Anakin over the course of two decades, placing him in a sort of incubator of the dark side. He manipulated events to fit into Anakin's turn, to facilitate his embrace of the dark side, feeding the seeds of his anger with individuals like Ventress, and most of which, Dooku, acolytes that he put in Anakin's path to draw him deeper into anger. However, Luke was beyond the Emperor's control. Not only this, but Luke's presence also made Vader a far more dangerous animal, one willing and ready to overthrow him. Vader was useful, so Sidious didn't want to throw him aside. However, he knew having two Skywalkers in the same situation was too dangerous. Although Vader's potential had been cut down, he was still very dangerous. And for the first time in many years, the Emperor was sensing that. In the canon novel From a Certain Point of View, we get to see the moment where Sidious learned of Luke's true identity as Anakin Skywalker's son. It came to him in a vision where Palpatine watched Luke kill him, murdering the Emperor with relative ease before bowing to Vader. The vision is more detailed with this with its own layers, but the point was that Sidious watched Luke gain the power to kill him, and to kill him without Vader's help. This told him that the boy's potential was that of Vader's, and it also showed him Vader's greatest desire to rule the empire that Palpatine built alongside his son. From that point on, Palpatine had to race to the finish. He needed to turn Luke first and get him to strike down his father, ridding him of one problem while giving him a new, more powerful apprentice. Sidious had to do this before Vader managed to turn Luke to his cause and to overthrow him. But on the other side, there was a lot more about Luke that Palpatine had to be concerned of, which was, who had trained this Jedi? He had discovered from Vader that Luke had received training from Kenobi, but what made things even worse is Palpatine had dug into the Force and discovered Luke was also trained by Yoda. He had every reason to find this a massive problem. Not only was the boy a Skywalker, but he had been taught by two of the greatest thorns in Palpatine's side, Yoda, his light side rival, the one equal to him in power as a Jedi, and Obi-Wan, the mentor of Anakin, the man who seemed to destroy all of his plans and survive everything. To Palpatine, Luke could not have been trained by two worse individuals for his plans. Two Jedi that he begrudgingly respected, especially after everything that he put them through. And now, they have spiritually returned to afflict him once more in the embodiment of their last hope. Luke Skywalker. No matter what Sidious does, he can't seem to permanently rid himself of Kenobi or Yoda. All Sidious knows is the two of them could have been spending their entire exile preparing this young boy, becoming the ultimate Jedi, or at the very least, preparing some grand plan, some revenge of the Jedi. Even Vader had been concerned about this when he first met Luke, and saw that it was Obi-Wan that had given him Anakin's lightsaber. Over the course of the final duel though, the Emperor grew more and more confident that he could end the Jedi's plans, and that Luke could turn to the dark side. He had more dark side leanings that he had initially not seen. However, the last Jedi proved himself to be a true threat in the most unexpected way, not joining Vader in the dark, but by dragging his father back to the light. The thing Sidious was certain was impossible. Both Sidious and Vader had something to fear from Luke Skywalker, but it had nothing to do with his power his bloodline, or his training. It had everything to do with the Jedi's heart, and his love for his father, his will to become a Jedi himself. Three things that no Sith could ever account for. But anyway, my friends, what do you think of this? Have you suspected before that Sidious was afraid of Luke? And now thanks to the novelization for Return of the Jedi, are you sure of it? Had this registered just how dangerous to the plan of the Sith and to Sidious directly, Luke really was. As always, my friends, thank you so much for visiting the channel today, and may the Force be with you always.